What's going on guys? Tmart here and guess what? Today we got all of the camos in Call of Duty Ghost. So as you guys know over the past couple of days, retail copies of the game have been getting out and we've been getting a ton of information. So uh, last night, late last night, somebody leaked all of the camos. Now I can't put the actual images in this video for fears of getting copyright struck and things like that, but I will link them down in the description so you guys can follow along. So uh, there are 13 known camos so far in Call of Duty Ghost. We don't know if there might be a secret one like Diamond and Black Ops 2 or anything like that. But we're going through them. We've got Snow, which we've seen before. It's just kind of like a black and white camo. We've got Brush, which looks kind of like a, a brown military, you know, camouflage looking thing. Uh, then we've got Autumn, which is just like fall camo and stuff we've seen in the past with lots of bright oranges and browns and things like that. Next up, we've got Ocean, which looks like it's got a mix of dark and light blues with some white. That actually looks really, really cool. I can't wait to use that. Then we've also got Scale, which is uh, which is one of the, the cooler ones, in my opinion, that's, uh, that's green scales, you know, kind of like snake scales or something like that. Uh, I can't wait to see that on some weapons. Uh, next up, we've got Trail, which looks like it's just kind of like a, a brown and black mix type camo, which we usually see a lot of in these Call of Duty games. It kind of reminds me of Chaco from, uh, from Modern Warfare 3. Now, uh, next up, we've got Gold, yes, gold is making a comeback. I couldn't even imagine a Call of Duty game without gold camos, so uh, that's not really a surprise there, but it's awesome that it is coming back. Then we've got Woodland, which is a really old camo we've had all the way back since COD 4 and maybe even before that, so uh, you guys know what Woodland is. Next up, we've got Red, which I'm assuming is kind of like the Red Tiger camo of this game. From the image, it looks like it's a mixture of red, black, gray, and white. It actually looks pretty cool. I can't wait to see that. Uh, next up, we've got Caustic, which looks like it's a digital-ish type camo that's a mix of pink and black, which, uh, which I don't know, I think that sounds really, really cool. Next up, we got another very interesting one that we haven't really seen before, and that's Crocodile. So, so it looks kind of similar to Scale, but, but it looks like it's going to be a little bit different. So I'm interested to see what this one looks like on some weapons. Uh, then we've got Green, which I'm assuming is going to be pretty much like Red, except it's actually going to be Green. It looks like it's a mix of Green, White, and Black. And, and then finally, we've got Net. Which, which looks like it has kind of like a, a lighter, whiter, cream background with some like, you know, uh, tan lines going through it to make it look like a net or, you know, scales or something like that. So, uh, those are the 13 camos we know of so far in Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, uh, this same guy also leaked all of the weapons in the game, which I've actually already gone through in previous videos. If you guys haven't seen those, I'll link them down in the description. But, uh, but just to go through them quickly, for assault rifles, we've got eight weapons. The SC-2010, the SA-805, the AK-12, the FAD, the Remington R R5, the MSBS, the Honey Badger, and the ARX-160. For SMGs, we've got six weapons, the Bison, the CBJMS, the Vector CRB, the Vepper, the K7, and the MTAR-X. For LMGs, we have four weapons, the Ameli, the M27 IAR, the LSAT, and the Chainsaw, which the Chainsaw is a hipfire-only weapon, which sounds really, really cool. For shotguns, we have the Bulldog, the FP6, the MTS-255, and the TAC-12. For snipers, we have the USR, the L-115, the Lynx, and the VKS. And then finally, for the marksman rifles, we have the IA-2, the MK-14 EBR, the MR-28, and the SVU Dragonov. So there you guys have it. And notable weapons in those categories are the, uh, the Honey Badger, the K7, and, uh, and then the VKS are all weapons that automatically have a, a silencer built in. Like, it's not an attachment, it's not an option. Those weapons always have a silencer on them, which is, a, which is the first time we've ever seen integrated silencers in Call of Duty. So those should be pretty interesting. But uh, anyway, there you guys have it. Those are all the weapon camos and weapons in Call of Duty Ghosts. Hope you all enjoyed the video. i got more great videos coming today, tomorrow, and the rest of the week. Make sure to check out one of the other videos on the screen if you haven't seen them yet. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you all later. Peace out.